on one of the most recent call-ups, Ellie De La Cruz, had himself a dumb. weekend. This was just Look dumb. Look at that. 98 miles an hour across <laughs> Insane. cliff. Oh, no, bro. Hey, look, I can't wait. I can't wait till O'Neal Cruz gets back. <laughs> like, now that's going to be a battle in the central. Right? Oh, yeah. I love Two to see it. Two big tall that. dudes over it's there. It's going to be a battle of stat cast. Right. That's what we <laughs> like to be. Yo, you threw 98 last night, homie? Here, here, here comes They're going to blow their arms they out. one up at yeah, each other. Man. I love that. Should we go through his other moments this year? Remember, he was just called up in June. His first hit. 112 miles an hour. That was a double. That was his first hit in the big. No big deal. Just smoking balls. How about this later in the month? He hit for the cycle against the Braves. The first player to do that since. You tell me who was the first player Eric to do Eric Davis. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. number 44. What, what number did he He's still wear? second, third, home. He did wear the same number. He did, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, that was a good catch. And no, then, of course, the fastest infield assist in the StatCast era. When he stole second, third, and home in two pitches, that was when I was like, this man doesn't care. He's just nope. going to do whatever it takes there to make goes. sure he puts himself in the position to be the best. And, and I think that makes so much sense because a lot of times as rookies, and you know this, Cliff, you come up and you're a little apprehensive, right? You, you, you don't want to be doing the wrong things. You want to be aggressive, but at the same time, you don't want to step on anybody's toes. He could care less about yeah. that. He's just going out there and doing his thing, and I think that's what's been fun watching him. I love the confidence. The stealing second, third, and home in two pitches was insanity, and it's the first time since 1919 that a Reds player did that in the same inning, which just shows you how historic of a player Ellie De La Cruz really has the potential to be. It was literally just two pitches, and it was kind of overshadowed by All-Star Week, right? Like, a lot of us were already in Seattle. We were kind of paying attention to the festivities out there, and then Ellie De La Cruz is still doing Ellie De La Cruz things. Yeah, I just like the fact that the Reds are calling up these dudes. Like, you know what? Let's, let's stop waiting. All like, in. You know, when your window opens, like, you don't know when it's closing. Yeah. Like, that's, that's right. to me, is where you have to take advantage of the youth and allow these guys to take advantage of these new rules, right? With the, you know, the whole pitch clock and cast can't throw over the first base. Mm -hmm. Run. We have guys with speed. Guess what? We can win games with speed. We can manufacture with the best of them. Let's play the game the way it's supposed to be played and start doing this. Yeah, he's exciting, but the whole team is, right? This yeah. is the reason why you bring these guys up. Yeah, they got some pop, but you can do some of these things and win you ball games, and this will win, in my opinion, in the postseason as well. Right? You talk about pitching, you talk about certain. To me, you have to do some things we never see. The reason some of these teams lose is because, like, the Yankees and some of these, they're, they're one-dimensional. If the big boppers are out, guess what? You ain't winning. Yep. It's just bottom line how it works. You know, if you can't manufacture, you ain't winning. Your supporting oh. cast players are not doing little things to get to second and third on the, on the ground ball that scores them. You're not winning consistently. So, you know, if Stan and Judge is out and, and Stan is not, you know, struggling, well, I would say struggling now because he's raking again, you have to figure out a way to score runs. By using your legs, by using, little, you know, by just, you're not going to get hits all the time. So, exactly. man, I, I love what the Reds are doing, man. It's game, fun. Our game has become so athletic that you can't afford to take a step back and be one-dimensional, right? Because teams are going to take advantage of you, and they're going to put pressure on the defense by doing those little things. And if you're not a team that's doing it, we, we've seen, and the teams that make the mistakes, right? You, you mentioned a Cardinals team that had been so good at doing the little things have taken a step back because we haven't seen them be the aggressor. That's what this Reds team is doing. That's what these other teams that are doing that I look at the Diamondbacks, another team super athletic that they're yep. not one dimensional. They're changing the game. Hey, listen, you work the draft so you can uh, speak to this, but these guys are now these front offices. They're drafting the best athletes. It's no longer about like positions. They're just finding the best athletes on the board available and they're putting these guys on the team. It. They're getting called up earlier. Look, I, 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 I was drafted and next to my name on the board was A, Apple T, Tom H, right? Athlete. <laughs> I ain't had no position. I mean, so if you tell me I can't use a glove, I'm not going to be a DH. I'm going to figure it out. But my point is I was an athlete. Yeah. And you have to think about, like, what these guys are and utilize them the best you can. Hey, Ellie De La Cruz, A, T, H. There it is. Athlete. <laughs> Twitter's favorite moment from his season so far is stealing second, third, and home. And Which is a great testament to the side. a great testament to the more stolen bases. Yeah. Increasing them. Yeah, you're completely correct. That's what the fans want.